welcome to District 19. Now this is a freehold land plot that might be perfect for you if you're hunting for a 5 minutes walk to the Coven Station, yet you want to have a 22 meters lap pool. Inbuilt jacuzzi with a steam room, potentially 7 huge bedrooms. Sitting at this huge massive 4,800 square feet of freehold land plot. Welcome to Coven D19 Prop Timbers Land Home Tour. Follow us and we'll show you more. Let's go. Welcome to Richards Avenue. This corner terrace plot was completed in the year 2017, CSC in 2019. So what you're potentially getting is you're looking at a five years old home with this 22 meters lap pool. This pool is pretty distinct in nature and later we'll share with you more because what you notice is that you have almost like a full on sheltered pool with a little bit of outdoor portion to enjoy the rain. And this is pretty rare in nature because most of the time swimming pools are constructed on the two meters setback. And the reason why this can be done is because this home has a 10 meters width. Let me hit it and share with you more. And of course, because you're sitting on a land plot with 4,800 plus square feet in terms of land size, total build is about 7,000 square feet. And right now, this is a 5 beta, and later we'll share you more how you can reconfigure this into a full on 7 beta. We are sitting in a mixed landed zoning, freehold in status, asking price 9.5 million, and later we'll chat more about all pricing analysis. Meantime, let's head back to the car Porsche area and then look through the landed home in detail. Now, this land plot is distinctly different. This land, you have firstly a 10.8 meters width, 40 meters on one side, approximately 43 meters on the other side. In totality, you have 4844 square feet. And if we were to look at the entire demographic and the land kind of segregation for the Coven region, Coven is known with rich heritage, but at the same time, it's also in very close proximity along Upper Serangoon Road, traveling down in one straight line towards the city zoning. Because just by driving down here, you can reach Bugis and Lavender pretty easily, and you will cut across Serangoon as well. Well, if you were to look at the entire land segregation here, predominantly most of the housing here are landed properties as well as private apartments and condominiums. High rise flushing around the station. The rest of the zoning right here are primarily low density kind of zoning with close to about 70% being private housing. So you are entering into a landed enclave that is pretty unique in nature because right around us, these are predominantly mixed landed zoning and you can go up to three and a half storey. And uh, of course, some of the neighbours here have already rebuilt the three and a half story status and this home right here at Richards Avenue if you look at the front part is basically currently at a two and a half story status and it's already about 7,000 plus square feet of build up space so I would say that you are sitting on the land with future potential to go but technically you don't have to do anything right now because you're enjoying such a huge land plot So let's start from the front. We are actually sitting on a little bit of an elevation. So what the owners have done is that when they have rebuilt this place, they have done like sort of like a gradient downward. And that allows, of course, reduction in potential water ponding. And that solves the entire issue. Sliding automated gate, stone wall finishing at the front part. And this looks pretty good because of your elevation. You get to see a lot of the sky at the front and the back. We're primarily on the southeast orientation right here. And towards the back is northwest. So firstly, you get mosaic tiles along the entire pool and there's three jacuzzi being planted right towards the corner. So the entire deck is made of composite materials and the uh, tiles is very lasting. You don't have to worry about real wood having to re them over the years because of sun exposure. If you can see, this land plot is really deep. Right in the middle zoning, there's an outdoor shower area. Now, this is a little bit unique in nature because firstly, I'm standing along the 2 meter setback zoning and most of the time, pools are actually mounted onto the setback 
zoning, but because this home has 10 meters in terms of width, this is actually part of the 8 meters, and I'm standing within a 2 meters. And you can only do that when you have a wider width for your home. And the rationale is because our owners wanted to have this part, which is almost like a sheltered pool, so your kids can still play here while it's raining, or you don't want to get too much of the sun. Like right now, we're standing at uh, about 12 p.m. right now. You can have like a shaded pool area right here with a little bit of outdoor portion right there. You still have close to another 18 meters to go and you can just imagine how deep this home is. So if you come to this portion right here, this is actually towards the start of the second half of the home. It's a beautiful home in nature. Now let's check more inside. For the entire living room portion, these are all done with nice stone walls as well as a nice TV console feature with a floating panel. So this gives you a lot of allowance for you to put your displays as well, a huge TV right here. We like the way that the home is being segregated into different portions, yet at the same time, maintaining that open feel, modern concept. The overall theme of the home has three primary palettes and uh, the color palettes include a darker tonality in terms of the marble flooring, whitish kind of tonality for the entire ceiling, and that enlightens the brightness of the home and the moment we head into the mid section of the home is being blended nicely with a tonality of greyish and white tone as well so three color palettes white gray and black that of course is a very timeless combination so as you come to the mid section of the home this is the space for you to pump in a huge dining table and of course you can go up to a 10 seater right here and then as you come to this portion this is a little bit like a display shelf for you to put in your whiskey collection this is the space for you to put in your coffee machine air fryer and of course different kinds of of pantry stuff as well. This area, I think fantastic for having a breakfast right here. High stools, independent island top, a little bit like a gourmet kitchen. Great for baking because the oven is right towards that corner. So microwave, oven, Bosch system, integrated fridge right here. Great for serving and uh, bottom freezer. And of course, as we open up the shelvings, the carcass is all being done with Bloom system. Bloom is one of the top brands in the market. Lasting, expensive, and of course, top value. Hinges are also done with Bloom and touch soft closures. And of course, you have a lot more storage with this tall cabinetry system that is flush with white kind of finishing and thus it blends well with the overall ceiling as well. So these are cowhide design tiles. Nice blend when overflowing from the living area to flow into kind of like the white tone palette. And of course, uh, coming here, you have quartz top right at your island top. You also have a lot of storage beneath the island. Independent sink, so you don't have to hack the floors again to put in a sink right here. Everything has been done for you. Of course, these are all movable furnitures that can be removed and placed with your own. You have a hidden wall panel panel here with a home shelter for storage and a little bit like an open concept kind of powder room very accessible for your guests and of course an enclosed area for your WC area so pretty nice flow right here and the moment we walk towards the enclosed kitchen right here is where your granny is so granny has a nice size room with three panels of wardrobe space and of course an ensuite you can open up to the sidewalk as well and because of the fact that you have a high canopy wall towards the side privacy is maintained and as we come to the wet kitchen huge square right here if we look at this entire kitchen space you have a very good height 1.8 meters uh, kind of two door fridge space right here and of course flowing towards the entire kitchen we like the fact that you have these huge windows panels and of course you can see the sky from here and that's very important because you want to bring light into the kitchen space you don't want your blender home to look dark and that is one key component that you want to have which is to have provision enough for your entire level one to bring light in Sink area, lots of storage space. This entire panel right here has already a provision for your dishwasher. The entire tabletop space is great for you to prepare your food. So this enclosed kitchen right here, I would say it is very well built and nicely thought after. So you have this walkout, high walls at the back. Right behind us is another home. But because of the high wall and the opaque wall, you don't get to see your neighbor kitchen. And you don't have to spend additional money to build this wall. This has already been done for you. If you notice, the entire home is also being armed with CCTV already. So you can take over the system and terracotta tiles right towards the side and the backyard area and uh, these are very long lasting tiles drainage at the corner you have this portion as mentioned is the canopy area and this was being done by the small apartment project beside us and of course outdoor shower but uh, I should not demonstrate for you because I didn't bring any towels <laughs> Thank you.
something about buying a landed home within walking distance to the MRT station is that your kids are simply going to love it. Not only are your kids going to love it because they can travel, but the northeast line towards Serangoon Interchange switch to a circular line, head on towards Bukit Timah for their schools. But you are also going to love it because you don't have to drive out to the train station to fetch your kids back if they are home late and they can just walk back home by taking a stroll along Lowland Road or Richards Avenue. So you might be wondering, um, hey Melvin, what is the key benefit of buying a land that has a bigger square footage in nature compared to buying something of a more sizable quantum in terms of total investment costing? So let's have a look at some of the key fundamental differences. Now, if you were to look at what is happening in the landed market right now in the year 2022, there is a drop in terms of the amount of inventory in the resale market. And if you look at inter terraces right now, there's only less than about 40 listings available at this time of filming in Q3 of 2022 in D19. So just by looking at this, an average entry level or category of uh, lander homes that is ready for rebuild is already having a minimal entry of at least 3.6 to about $4 million depending on its land price. To go for something that really don't need you to do a lot of work but maybe you still need to renovate your A&A, that will have at least an entry level of about four to four odd million dollars and averaging at about $2,400 per square foot. Now, when you go for a landed property, the smaller the land size, the higher the PSF level because the overall quantum is smaller and thus the higher PSF range. So if I were to just take inter terraces in terms of the $2,400 average PSF level and uh, multiply it by this land plot, this is already close to about $12 million if I were to multiply by 4844 square feet in terms of its land size. And that will give you a glimpse of the key difference because of the fewer size of 4,800 plus square feet, asking price of 9.5 is asking at about 1,961 PSF. And that's about a $500 pricing difference between a quantum play as well as a land play. So let's take a look at the second example. Second example is that if I were to take a look at what is available for semi Ds and corner terraces right now in D19, similarly Q3 of 2022, there's also less than about 35 listings available. Most of the landed homeowners, the moment they enter into the landed space, they usually will switch around landed properties, either buying bigger landed or smaller landed or rebuilding themselves. Most of the time, they will only exit when they retire. There's no urgency for most landed owners to sell off because of the fact that a lot of them are selling on gains that uh, has already appreciated over the past many years. And there's only about 73,000 landed stock in the entire Singapore land space. And thus, this is one of the category that has already become a great store of value for many landed owners. And if we look at the corner and semi D PSF level, averaging at about $2,200 per square foot, and we multiply back by this size, that will also bring us to about 10 out to $11 million. So this is a little bit like buying two corner terraces at one shot because the average size of an inner terrace is about 1,006 plus square feet and corner terraces that are about 2,200 square feet. And uh, this is about two land plots being combined to one, giving you a potential to swap this into a detached status in future. So firstly, because of the fact that this home was just built five years back, condition is fantastic. You don't have to do up much. I think you just need to do some light touch up work when you come in. The structure is perfectly built. And later as we head on to look at the room size, you'll be simply blown away because the rooms not only come with the resting zoning is almost like an entire apartment of its own living area plus your resting zoning and uh, potentially you can go up to seven bedrooms. So as we head into the master, your master room occupies the entire front width of the home. This is the view that you want. Nice vantage point, no direct home in front of you. This is like the living area part of your home. We have not even got started in the master room yet because there are three different zones here. This is, I think, even bigger than a lot of one beta apartments right now in the market. This is like your entire living area with a balcony. You have a nice swivel TV wall that can flip around and change when you are going to sleep and you want to watch Netflix on your bed. And then the second zoning is actually here which is your walk-in wardrobe area and look at this welcome to your own private boutique this is where you display all your handbags or your coats dresses you have two sides one for the hubby one for the wife right in the middle you have this nice center console 16 panels of pull outs right here this is a place for you to display all your accessories and of course your jewelry you also have a his and her standing shower wc jewelry system ic kind of sanitary west as well as a long bath right in the middle fantastic space for your family to have 
I'm in the third zone right here, which is your resting area. And you still have a display shelf right at the corner. You have your nice little pool view kind of study table zoning. And just imagine sitting here. Pool is below you. You got to see the pool. Of course, just sit here. Imagine doing work at home. I mean, this is one of the best place to work from home. As you come to level two, you have this little family area right here. Now, this is potentially a big room right here towards the corner because it has four panels of window space that are openable towards the side. This is a fourth bedroom at level two. So my suggestion is to pull a wall line right from this portion of this wall, pull it all the way towards here, make an L wall right here with the entry zoning towards this fourth bedroom on level two. So that will create a huge rectangle zone right here for you to have a very good sized bedroom. In the meantime, you can see the second largest bedroom, which is the junior master with his own Sweet and look at this. This room is almost like a size also like a one bedroom apartment. Huge. You have your own study zoning already with built-in carpentry furnitures. Two-seater right here. TV console space right in the middle. Bookcase area right here. Resting zone with your king bed. Two side tables. Your mini living room area right here for you to sit and read and watch your TV right from your own junior master. L corner window space. Windows towards the back of the home as well as towards the sidewalk. And it's time for me to show the sidewalk because the sidewalk is pretty interesting. This links all the way towards third bedroom on level two. You come into the walk-in wardrobe space and oh my goodness, you have a long bath as well. Similarly, Jerbury Tustin, and then your own ensuite walk-in wardrobe space with five wardrobe panels. This room is also huge. Right now, sparingly having a little bit of furniture only. King bed in the middle, side tables. You can put in one corner, study desk towards that direction because that's where all the plug points are. Four panels of sliding windows right here. Old walk-in wardrobe space. Carpentry all look pretty good and new. Bathrooms totally don't have to do anything because the wall house flooring, they are all in great shape and condition. Alright, so as I'm walking up, you can enjoy the skylight because skylights are extremely important. If you do not build a skylight within your home, your stairway is going to look really dim. But because of this, it enhances the natural brightness towards the entire place. And you might be wondering, hey Melvin, why is there one huge big space right here? Because this is actually the space for two huge bedrooms to be occupied. But our owners prefer to hack down the entire wall line to bring it to one huge living room area. So it's fantastic for you depending on the needs of your home because right now, this landed home has five bedrooms and now we deem this entire level as the fifth bedroom but if you were to take our advice segregate this into two rooms and then the family area on level two you make it into another room that will give you a total of seven so you have a choice to make it six or seven bedrooms it's up to you if you want this level to be your entire master ensuite this is also perfect because this level is so brightly lit you have a full level for your own private use together with the front part you get to see the entire coven right here your own living area at this direction this can be the bed head area. Just imagine having your king bed, two side tables, putting a center TV console right at that direction. This is a great space for you to create your own in-house gym at this direction because that gives you the direct access to your steam bath as well as your shower area. This home can go up to three and a half, just like the neighbor home. That home is already three and a half. We're just three. We're not even having the attic level yet. And this is already, I think, huge enough. You can go up to close to about 10,000 square feet. We love the fact that Coven has predominantly landed kind of uh, zoning. So you are not surrounded by a lot of high rise. You're predominantly only having a max of five levels, like the mini projects right there. So if you look at D19, firstly, D19 is one of the most popular landed zoning in Singapore and it has one of the highest transaction levels apart from D15. Now, of course, D19 has been a hot favourite because you have several kind of enclaves right here. Of course, the top of the line will be Serangoon Gardens with the highest level of PSF ever transacted. And of course, Serangoon Gardens is one of the very popular regions because it's a little bit like a Holland V of D19. And the next popular zoning right here will be Coven because especially if you're hunting for something that's close proximity to the station, this this is a very hot zone as well. So secondly is that the road line right outside is also a dotted line kind of road line so that allows you to park multiple cars when you have visitors and of course your internal car porch can already park two cars. So being a corner terrace status with two parking lots, that's of course an added bonus. 
before we head downstairs, uh, some possibilities in terms of what you can envision for this level is that at the front or at the back, you can put in like an outdoor kitchen. It's very popular right now to build an outdoor kitchen that's of course using weatherproof materials. And the benefit of having that is that you can put in your inbuilt grill as well as like an outdoor induction cooker system. You can do a barbecue right here, either towards the back or the front, up to your own choice. And you can create your own little mini kitchen right here within this level. So this level can also be a full-on entertainment zone with a projection screen. It can be a full-on office as well if you want to use that as your home office. So a lot of possibilities for you to envision this particular level. Meantime, let's hit downstairs. Didn't mean those things, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter anyway. We've been here one time too many. Wonder what will happen next. We will know that this ship's going down. Let's get up. So we've come to the end of this home tour. Hope you like what you have seen so far. And if you're hunting for something close proximity to Coven Station, this might be the right home for you. And if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing managers. And my name is Melvin Lim, Property and Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. Look through the landed home in detail. Okay. Ah. Okay, come switch. This is a five beta, and later we'll share a bit more on how. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, ready to go. Premium fuel and uh, this part must cut away when I climb up. <laughs> and right now this is a five beta and later we'll share more how. Okay, ready. <laughs>